We'll see. This is kind of rude that I should just take it, but I'm just going to pass it around. Will you want to pour mom some there? It's not a guarantee, but just in case it is the last meal in your house before you get <laughs> your new one. The last supper. The last, yes, not the last meal. She'll be quite hungry. Take and eat. You're going to do this in remembrance of Marge and Tom. <laughs> in remembrance. In remembrance. Thank you. Who? Holy Toledo. Watch out for your arm there, honey. Getting drunk. <laughs> Having some wine. That's right. Oh, there you oh. go. Yay. Jeez, you're taking your side down. Sure. He's obviously, he's, you know, he's up there in years now. And, and they always knew that Dad had done something in the war, and they always knew that Dad had won some medals and that in the war, and never talked about it and everything. And lo and behold, the gold boy whips out the Congressional Medal of Honor. <laughs> yeah. I guess you did do something in the war, Dad. He, he killed, what did they say, like a hundred guys? Yeah, a hundred and eighty guys. Good conduct, Mel. <laughs> he worked hard for that, too. Yeah. He had to bite his lip a couple of times. <laughs> How many black eyes did you have? Mother. <laughs> it's on film, Grandpa. Now you're cut. The way he talked about it was that. It's been a long time. So. <laughs> what are you doing, Grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You should put these others on now. You're welcome. Thank you Thanks so much. Somebody doesn't like Peapods. Who was that? Me. Kathy. You're the fussiest, fussiest person I know. Here it comes. That's my wife. Yeah, I know. I like cooked Peapods. Like when you get them in a stir fry, they're very uh -huh. good. Blanched. I like yeah. them raw. They're just snow peas instead of regular oh. peas. <laughs> and so when they came on, they were seeds. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> You know, I did that once myself. The same thing, and I was very disheartened. It's staying right at 350 degrees. That's one thing I wish we had was a uh, temperature gauge. Yeah. I wonder if we can buy one to sit in the barbecue. I'm sure. Okay. That thing must have been uh, Easter Bunny. Why is that? Because oh. it came right up to her. And oh, she held the carrot out to it. Oh, it ate oh, the carrot. Oh, that's really? So sad. Yeah. And uh, yeah, because, uh, the, the neighbor, and you know, that menagerie in back of us? Yeah. yeah. We called and her and uh, uh, told her we got another bunny well, rabbit. <laughs> Were they so, so escaping from there or something? Oh, or? Well, somebody just this probably well, turned it loose over in the cemetery. And, uh, that's sad. Was able I, to catch it. I, I wish I had wow. that. Oh, I bet you. No way. Wow. I think I would have rather just let it go on its own. Why? What are they going to do with it? Well, they'll probably feed it and bat fatten it up and eat it. All right. Uh, all right. No. You basically gave them an, an equivalent to a gift certificate to Black <laughs> Angus. <laughs> They just have to meal. work a little harder to get it. I know this isn't dinnerware, but look at the garage sale item. Oh, like I've it. showed him already, told the story. Old you news. <laughs> <laughs> look what she has in her hand. It's a killjoy, huh? <laughs> yeah, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, I borrowed the Tom's. Glass behind you. Joe took me out for Mother's Day golfing. And I had to borrow his sand and his lobber. <sighs> I have my own. Good. <laughs> yeah. So went over yeah, there really and uh, there's your car. Uh, okay, thank you. Jesus, I tell you that. Uh, uh, How old were you when you? Oh lordy, I don't know. About eighteen, probably seventeen, eighteen. But anyway, my, uh, that wine it was Loganberry wine. Oh wow. Oh, thank and you. he had. Uh, uh, you want to hand me your little dish? What are we doing? Corn. Oh. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> uh, <Hilarious. thank> you. <laughs> Kathy, oh, just a moment. No. He had a, a wooden coal stove, so we had that then, and 
and uh, everybody was setting their wine on top of the eating shelf there, and uh, I didn't know nothing about wine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, it just tastes like pop. Gee. It's a dangerous thing, isn't it? Yeah. Finally, my brother, he was going to help me across the street. <coughs> he pounded on the back door, and as soon as he saw the light come on, he says, you're on your own. And he took off. Oh, my wow. mom come to the door and she says, you been drinking, eh? Oh, who, me? <laughs> she says, I'll give you who, me in the morning. Jeez, <laughs> I got up next morning and I, I was scratching my head way out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy. The worst hangover in the world is a wine hangover. Oh, jeez, I've never done it again. That was enough wine, huh? Oh, man. <laughs> lordy. Well, my friend and I, we went out and had a big old pizza <laughs> dinner. <laughs> And we were thinking, you know, it would be so good with this pizza would be a nice glass of so wine, red wine. So he played guitar, I play guitar. Potato. I said, well, come on over after we're done eating and we'll share a bottle and we'll just play some guitar together. Well, another one. the glasses that we were oh. drinking out of was actually, you could split a whole bottle in two glasses. Oh, yay. So it, it, it's not as though I was drinking a half bottle of wine. I was just drinking a glass of wine. So... Long story short, four bottles later. Oh, God. <laughs> Who picked you up? Well, I was at home already, oh. luckily. I was over 21, so there wasn't anything they could do. That's a uh, well. <laughs> But I, uh, <laughs> we didn't play any guitar from like the you know, third bottle on. You know, we just had them near us. We were just making noise. But that was the worst hangover I had in my There's life. Sour cream and chives. Yeah, that, that made it. A good Indian out of me, believe you. Happy birthday to you. Dun, da, da, da. Happy, Happy birthday, dear Jason. Wah, 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 wah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. And many more from Channel 4. <laughs> and K. Best wish of all. <laughs> oh, we're gonna enjoy this day. Watch <laughs> out! Reject, reject, Oh, what a little lady! Oh, 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 that tuberculosis. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just like your dad. What's all that red little spots on the cake? Blood, Blood. from my lungs. Blood from your lungs. Blood. Old, Blood spatter. The old TB. <laughs> TB in the house. <coughs> oh well. I forgot to make a wish though. So. Oh, well. oh yeah, oh. we know. There's the answer to we know. The trick is, mind. the older you get, you make wishes that you don't worry about losing. What? There's the yes. answer to your wonder, wondering. What's that? If Marge had any candle. Oh yeah. Well, Harry told me to get on my cell phone and call you. <laughs> oh, ah, on your cell phone, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> you should have just emailed them. Then. Well, that was their their Carfax was not running Come today. On, guys. I agree. Yeah. You're not being very. <laughs> you can have it. No, you can have it. Okay. <laughs> Here's a lot of ice cream for Daddy O. Okay. More? Where's that enough? I don't know. Do you want more ice cream than that, Dad? That, no, that's mine. You sure now? Yeah. Matter of fact, we want everybody happy. We like happiness in this house. Female. <laughs> Kathy, he's gay. Oh my gosh. It's a secret. <laughs> cool. Jake, you are very special in our lives. A great loving grandson. We are very proud of you. Have a great birthday, love, Grandma and Grandpa. Jason, may the birthday angel grant all your wishes this year, Grandma and Grandpa. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this was a our wonderful Grandma and Grandpa Kitty. Nice. Guitar Center. Nice. Oh, yeah. Guitar Center. You know what that's going towards? What's that? An effects processor for my guitar. Oh. It's just a matter of time. You can go up there. At Greenwood and sit in Jimi Hendrix. Uh, they have a <laughs> statue in there yet? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I suppose no. they got the.
great big chunk of cement sitting out there in the middle. Sure. Granite. I haven't been up there in a while, so I don't know if All it's... that money put out for that. It's not the city yeah, that did it. His, uh, what is it? His, his brother <laughs> and <laughs> sister or whatever. Yeah. They're the lovely fighting over it already. <laughs> yeah, it's it terrible. But if you, if you <laughs> go up there and look around and, and you know, pay attention, that all of his family is buried around there. He bought a huge bit of land. And mm -hmm. I mean, it's all of his dad's there, in-laws, outlaws, everybody's all buried around him. And, and uh, so, I mean... Yeah, there's like 20 Haven't gravestones. Been up there? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, surrounding his mm -hmm. area, there's about 20, 25 other gravestones set up for his immediate family. Mm -hmm. So, son, you are special today. Mm -hmm. Not the short yellow bus special, but special. Happy birthday, Jake. Say 31 times. I won't do it because I don't have enough film. I'm very proud to have you as my son. I am blessed. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Jake, feeling very proud and happy to have you for a son and wishing you a very happy birthday, Dad Margie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Awesome. You know what that's going towards. Well, look at the amount on the back. Why didn't significant. Thank you. $31. That's great. You Thank know what that's for. Um, Had you been every... 42, you would have gotten $42. See, too Maybe bad. he's 42 <laughs> today. I am 42. You can fight you a little bit, Jake. Now, I've uh, now, pulled Harry, one over on your eyes. Birthday. I'm actually 200 years old today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dream on, boy. You be sure to tell your son Times how you're going to be in your next birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a preference as to what you would like me to open up first, Kathy? Yes, the biggest one first. The blue? Yes. Max. Okay. Wind to the right until it stops. The light is red. Wait till he gets a good shot, Connie. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I need to grab, you know, of course every guitar player grabs a little this. Like. I don't want you to look like some of those guys. I'm go, trying to figure out where the frame well, don't, is. Well, don't, you don't have to I take his head off. You don't have to take the whole thing, Connie. I oh, know, there's a line in here and I don't know if that's the frame edge. Well, or... that was better. All right, play tune. Maybe we'll get a natural one. Yeah. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> you know that one? You know that tune? Squeal like a pig, Grandma. <laughs> 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 I like your pretty that smile. D -D -D. That was a uh, deliverance. Deliverance. That was a Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Hogs out. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? <laughs> we don't see the art, sweetheart. Thank you. It is cool. With the sparkles. <laughs> we were here last year. What is birthday? Where Not were we? Because we didn't live here. Not here, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were here for somebody else's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Not not here, but we were <laughs> That's your other place. Uh, Correct? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll read it out loud, but this is the best. Because what is a husband? Okay, I had an epiphany today when I was picking out your card. I'm like, I get to pick from the husband section now. Yes. Isn't that great? Yeah. All the best cards are in that section. With love on your birthday, uh -huh. a husband is a man you really like and really love. He's the closest friend you've ever had. His smile can make you smile, and just as being there can cheer you up, no matter what goes wrong. Mm. A husband is that special man who shares your dreams and helps them come true. He gives a special meaning to that beautiful word, together. It really doesn't matter where we are or what we're doing as long as we have each other to share it all. I love you all so much. Happy birthday. 
That's yeah. great. Beautiful. That's awesome. Aww. Aww. And the note from Kathy is personal. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. So I'm not reading any. <laughs> okay. <laughs> any of it. Nothing of it. All right. So the bag. The bag. Are there sparklies? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll do it over there. Oh, no, they're not. No, they're attached in the paper. Well, some of them are. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Yeah. What is it? It's, uh, do you know, like, uh, Indiana Jones song Raiders of the Lost Ark? Yeah. You it's, got it in DVD. Oh, I see. And then okay. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and yes, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I have seen that. Now, may I suggest something? Yes. That you do take the time to watch them all. Now, because how many are, how, Kathy oh, this had is it the complete. In VCR, yeah. And Mom and I were watching them in one section. Oh, yeah. And we went, we just saw that. Yes. So it was in there twice. Really? Yeah. So if you run into but, any of that, then you'll know right away. Hmm. But Kathy bought that at Costco. Right. She? Uh -oh. she didn't know it. See, she had but looked at it. DVD. Let's open some gifts. D take everything out. I don't want to get the sprinkles all over. No. Maybe. What? Did you really? What? Now, what did you do for Kathy? When's your birthday, Kathy? I cannot. April 8th. April 8th. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I remember <laughs> going through this well, before. That one. Oh. <laughs> it's the same as, as Danny's. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do, remember Danny's? Or remember mine? Oh my goodness. I don't remember Danny's either. Oh. <laughs> I'm so bad too. <laughs> really bad. This is the best. What is what the is best? It? What are you doing this stuff for, Kathy? Because I love you. This. What is it? It's the best. What is it? It's the best. It? Now you have one and Glenn doesn't. I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is an effects product. So what you can do, I can't sit out here, drag out my amplifier, turn on my guitar, because it would bother Kathy and plus everybody in this whole area. Mm. So you have one of these that you can plug your guitar into, and you can plug headphones into the other side. And not only does it sound like you have an amplifier, this has 150 plus effects for your guitar. Distortions, delays, acoustic sounds. There's drum machines in it, so you can play with drums behind oh. you, different so rhythms. So you use this for practice. And you're the only one that can hear it. Or you can play it into an amp. Huh? But yeah. Oh, wow. um, and it comes with bass lines. So you could like turn yourself, go, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and everybody yeah. else is like, here and this. Exactly. <laughs> like They're just ding, 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 ding. I borrowed Glenn's um, uh, Pandora, which was a PX3. This one's a four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I did get you the right one? Oh, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. I had to pretend when I went into Guitar Center that I knew what I was talking about because one of them pulled out, do you want a PX4B? What uh -oh. is a PX4B? I'm uh -oh. like, no, I'm just sticking to what I was told that you know my husband wanted so there you go you better find out what a b is jake before you plug that sucker in i know <laughs> i should have asked is it more expensive okay then must be better <laughs> Not it can do this all that that small that huh? little that can oh yeah wow. this is isn't that amazing yeah so i mean you can be like well you know it's one thing to like have a drum beat behind you, you know? yeah. but you can also plug it in so you have a bass player be playing in the background. So you can have like, oh, I want to play the blues. You can pick any key you want to play it in, and you can have a bass player play with you. I'm gonna play the blues in the key of F sharp, and you have a bass player playing with you. It's awesome. Oh yeah. And you can also record up to I think 30 seconds worth of a patch. So and you can have it circulate. So if I wanted to play, but I wanted two guitar parts, I could play this one riff, whatever it is, for up to 30 seconds, and it will record it, and it will loop it, and I just play it over it. Over here where I can see Going. it. Going. <laughs> one, two, 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jason. Happy birthday to you. On channel seven. Happy birthday, Jake, on the side. Now who did that? Cold Stone Creamery. <laughs> oh, oh, I better not good do that. Cold Stone I can't see the cake. Oh, see, it. turn it. Oh, and I have to zoom. Name on the zoom. Mm -hmm. Just play with it. That's so <gasps> different. It's going to be really wiggly. Okay, spin happy birthday around. Happy birthday to oh. Jake. <laughs> That's What's awesome. on top of there? <laughs> strawberries. Ooh, yeah. jelly strawberries or real strawberries? Real strawberries. Ooh. This is a, a, a ice cream cake, right? Mm -hmm. cool. How do I oh, go backwards mate. now? Uh oh. It's going to be uh -oh. melting. Did I hit something weird? How do I make it go back back away? This is close. Green? Wow. Holy shit! Home. It's a full rainbow. Wow. I gotta make it fast because it's raining out here and I don't want to get the camera wet. Oh, oh careful. I just here, put the strap on here now. Wow. That's amazing. Whoops. I just gotta drop on the lens. I'm going in. <laughs> When it's that closed in, it's not very good quality. Mm. Father's Day. <laughs> Smile, Junior. <laughs> he doesn't have it on yet. There's no red button. You can always tell when there's a red button. Fire one! This is Father's Day. Do da, do da. <laughs> it's 90 degrees out here today. Yep. Do da, right here do room, da. Right? Beautiful day. Beautiful day! <laughs> In wow. Delaware, I guess. Wow. I want to thank you very much for the card and for the lovely gift that you both gave me for Father's Day. It'll be used toward the purchase probably at this time. I've decided to buy a table saw. Oh, yay. Yes. Excellent. So, <clears throat> that's what the deal is. Great. So again, thank you very much. You're welcome. Mom. Yeah. Look at your grandson. But tell us about that tree again, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> the big, big. Okay, this one. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July. We get to watch the fireworks for free this year. Wow! <laughs> Isn't that cool? God, they sound like dying animals.
That was awesome. Tomorrow's mom's birthday. Yay! We're gonna go down and celebrate it with your special cake. And um, bacon your cake. Tell me about the cake. Well, it's going to be chocolate. Okay. And it's going to have custard filling. Uh huh. And then it will have chocolate ganache drenched all over the cake so it encapsulates the cake. And then I'm going to take whipped cream and do some sort of fancy border. And then I'm going to take like cherries and raspberries and do something with that. That sounds delicious. <laughs> Check out the fireworks. Shows up. That's mm -hmm. I think that's about it. Oh, there's some over there. That's cool. It's still light out. Wow. I like the crackers. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. I like the ones that have very, like that, where it's a fine dusting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, though, that's cool. the crackers I like, where it, it's, um... Just the regular white light, and then it crackles like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Definitely. Oh wow! Crackle, crackle. It's really neat. Definitely, this is wonderful. You definitely have a great vantage point. Oh. Yeah. Way off in the distance. <laughs> yeah, you can already hear the sirens.
Last Wednesday, I called in sick to work, and at 6.45 in the morning, I got in line at Costco. I was number 1,006, and I waited in line for about nine hours, and at 4.30 in the afternoon, I walked out with a signed copy of Bill Clinton's book, My Life, and he signed it. I shook his hand. It was pretty cool. I walked in, the Secret Service pat me down and put the little wand over me, and uh, walked on through, and the, uh, some guy said, do you need a book? And I grabbed one, and then right after that, the Secret Service grabbed it and uh, put it in front of the president, and they said, stand in the center of the desk, sir. And I went out, and he had his hand out, and I uh, grabbed it and shook it, and I said, we sure miss you, Mr. President. And he responded to me, which was kind of cool, but he was really, I guess, focused on signing books and stuff because when he responded, he responded by saying, well, I hope you like it. So, it was pretty awesome. Yeah. I'll show you the book. See? Pretty cool, huh? I shook his hand. Yeah. I don't know if it's possible to see this, but it's the most outstanding moon. I'll try to zoom in slowly. That's beautiful. Check it out. Today we went down to the fish store and we got two real plants. That was Kathy's suggestion and it turned out to be totally cool looking. And we got a new suck fish. This guy right there. I'll try to get a side shot. Sometimes they just know that they're being filmed. What the heck? Salmon spawning habitat is Good job, sweet pea. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm recording for my mom's birthday. Thirty-one. <laughs> uh -oh. Don't we have matches? Yeah, we got matches, don't we? Let's get some matches. I'm sure it won't like that fast. Oh. 
Oh, here, let me turn it. You want to get pet? It's dripping out oh. of it. Oh, that don't She's going to get oh, it. Oh, yeah. I got it on it now. You're to do the middle. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about the window. <laughs> Sorry. I know you're so concentrated on it. Ooh, come, come on, on now. Come on. Here. Oh, Jake, sorry. Tiny, oh. you're going to stand out there, over there, so I can get your picture. Exactly. Oh, what about good the job. Back light. Huh? Yeah, that's I'll be that, that way. That light isn't going to help her. Huh? That is so nice. Well, no, I'll the flash. Did you hook the flash on? Oh, the flash. Oh, oh, flash! You need to get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should I take it out? No, you hate that when you all smiling <laughs> and ready, and then they say, "Oh, oh, oh!" There I got oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Is this yeah. where we happy sing "Happy Birthday" to after to the you. fact? Oh, yeah! Oh, happy yeah. birthday, birthday to, to you! Happy, happy birthday, birthday, dear mom! Happy birthday to you and many more. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good. Good job. We want to eat it instead of messing around. We didn't need this for. I want to eat it. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Oh, oh, we six, no, that's it. Right yeah. there. Maybe yeah. there is a box. This cake is one you could eat for the rest of the year. I'm going to use those. Not with person. Kathy in town. Kathy and I usually just split that sucker in half. <laughs> oh, 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 you guys have had this? No, yeah. I've never had it. I haven't made it. It before. looks like chocolate. She makes, look at she makes special things it's all the time. Oh, I mean, she, she can. Absolutely. I love that you're having your birthday on day like this. It's Me so too. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The little birdie. Beautiful weather. Oh, I know. That's great. Yeah. It'd be nice if you could get a picture of the bird feeding it. Yeah. yeah. That's a you gotta go out there. Uh, it, right out instead the of through the window, you can go out there and get it. Right there. Now, wow. Kathy, I will have about I'm staring at him. No, he's not afraid of anything. Uh-uh. He was looking down after you left. I got him out, Mom. There's eight forks out oh, there. Oh, is there? No, yeah. no there's, we need I got mine. Okay. Go for it, Kathy. Okay, it's two layers of custard and one layer of strawberry preserves, mm -hmm. chocolate cake, and then chocolate ganache, and then whipped cream on the side. Mm -hmm. And raspberry. And it and is raspberry. Tasty. Wow. No, they're custard. Two layers of custard. Mm -hmm. Strawberry, raspberry preserves. Strawberry preserves. Here. Mm -hmm. I wanted raspberry. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I want strawberry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Eat it, Aunt. Hello. Are you eating it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I have this hanger in my bedroom and it's a plastic <coughs> clothespin. It's a pl plastic clothespin. Oh, it's yeah. got a metal circle on it. And oh, it's you owe me a dime. <laughs> Wait. Oh. So it's stuck <laughs> on the hanger. And I'm dinking with it and dinking with it. And I finally come out and I said, Mom, if you can get this off the hanger, I'll buy you dinner. <laughs> she goes, do, do, do. <laughs> how did that happen? I know. Cause she, she said, "How did you?" Because uh, she can't do anything. Like that. <laughs> well, she pretends. Yeah. It's yeah. a plastic clothespin on the hanger. Uh huh. Yeah. When it comes to dinner, Grandma can pretty much yeah, get through right. anything. <laughs> All of a sudden, she gets knowledgeable. Yeah. Yeah. So I. Yeah, so then I go make it a dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice. And they come in and lay the sticks the other direction. They push it with their beak, and when you show it in fast, you know, yeah. fast forward, it's like, oh my god, That's look awesome. at this rhythm. Yeah. And it, I mean, Whoa. it's precise. So how did the? And um, and then the babies, we missed the eggs. Right? No, we're on a trip or what? But then the babies were there, and they're just all 
I mean, hardly any feathers on them at all. Yeah. And then they would hear the mom, and all of a sudden, all four of them, they, their heads would come up, and their beaks would be wide open, mm -hmm. and then the mother would land on the side of the nest, and she'd shove a worm down one of them. And the one that she fed, he uses his butt, he sticks it up in the air, and he wiggles it, and this white, disturbing, like marshmallow comes out. The mother <laughs> takes it all that. And swallows it. I don't know if she goes and regurgitates it or, or if she just eats it. But that's how the you know see how clean nests yeah. are. And I never thought about it, but that's she's how they keep it clean. Yeah, she feeds them. Something comes out the yeah. butt, and Absolutely. off she goes. Oh, and then she comes back, and another feeds another. They're so clean. When I had it's a nest inside. in here uh -huh. two years, yeah, that nest was absolutely clean. Yeah, it's Nothing. It was. I yeah, beautiful. I had that. So with your tapes, you say that you're consolidating like them, do you yes. have like an editing kind of stuff? That's a, well, no, not really. That's what I want to get next, I think, is a digital camera. Because they're so handy. You don't have to bring like five, six rolls of film. That's, it's a great investment. Yeah, it's Especially with your trip. And I need to get a better one. Ours is an old one. I love the zoom on it, though. It's got a good zoom. And it's only two point. So when I order pictures to Shutterfly, they'll say not recommended for anything over four point four times six inch. And I want more pixels so that I can take a picture and take one little piece out of it. And the only thing that I know to look for is the megapixels and then the optical zoom. Yeah. But it seems like the higher you go in the megapixels, the lower the optical goes down. I want something at least ten times, yeah. ten times off the optical. Yeah. And then. Uh, yeah, you don't want the gal said don't even worry about digital. Don't yeah. even go there. She said it's kind of a joke. Terrible. That's where my video camera is. I mean, you have so much digital zoom, but then it gets all pixely. Yeah. Well, we had yeah. the detail. So, yeah, see, ours is a 10, and I love it, but it's big, like this, and I just want to it in November. I'm interested in uh, hearing about uh, a friend of yours's opinion. I hear the Olympus is pretty good. Yeah, so anyway, and there's a, which one is the Which one? I went up to Kit's camera, and they, she said I would go with this one, and I don't know if it was a, Okay, ready. Okay, so my name is uh, Geraldo Nidam, Nidanaman, and I'm a benefits administrator for this presiding debate between uh, myself, Geraldo, and the, my contestant. So here we are together once again, uh, presiding uh, for debate number 417 of the Moderated Association for the Debater in which me and my contestant will debate. My name is Laffy Stafford, and I agree that this issue, the debatable issue, must be debated today. My partner and I will be going over some precise areas, interests, facts, non-facts, and angles to try to detail out this issue so there will not be any more confusion in the future. Now, to alleviate the confusion, Jed, we will have a systematic uh, uh, arrangement whereby we debate each clear point one after another simultaneously. So, simultaneously... Inhibitor. Simultaneously. Agreed. Agreed. So there is no confusion here because I am one that does not like confusion. Simultaneously, will we go over the facts as such? The subject today shall be the uh, improvisation uh, flame of a uh, lighter. Now, to an ordinary viewer, this flame exists only as a, you know, four centimeter uh, long fire, and perhaps you can see uh, vapors rising above it. The which uh, indicates that 
actual flame and uh, wind uh, causing the flame will um, create the what is turbulently like further away as it becomes noticeable engaging in uh, fire. See, this is precisely where I do not agree with Mr. Schmaznat. See, one would actually say that this is a four centimeter item that does have a flame coming out of it and maybe some vaporizes above it. Therefore, it is unfair to say that the distance that one holds the flame away from you correlates with the junction of the heat given off from the instrument. Would you agree or no? Well, I would have to agree. I mean, granted, you're a master debater. Uh, that's pretty good. No. <laughs> no. No. Well, thoughtfully, uh, no. But in fact, it does exist. And here you, she is. You can see her. She is uh, representative of staying away from the fire, which we shall see later as we... So again, this is exactly where I disagree. More blatant comments designed to smokescreen the real issue here. So we have a four centimeter issue right there and it's kind of dangling. What do we do with it? Do we bust out the fire? No. So item two, not only does she, the female spider, and the fire coexist separately, the third element which we want to bring into play is, uh, will be able to, okay. Banana. So it is clear with the the degrees that we have, the PhD between us, granted, took longer. We've come to the conclusion that I'm correct, as usual. And I think that without further debate, it would be necessary for us to surmise that no matter how you can twist the facts, spin the truth, I am telling the truth. You know, it was just... I don't know. What? It's just... What? <sighs> Alright. I think I can tell you. All right. You know, I didn't really want it to have to come out like this, but, uh... You mean come out like this? the fruit and ripened sun, the, the tomato gel of the, the special sauce and the... And it works when you smash the tomato. Tomatre paste. This is, will be so flavorful. A flavor. Flavor full of flavor. 
All right. Next step, especially, oh. especially, we've got garlic. Garlic. We need tomatoes. Ingredient. Just it. Aha. Here we fillet the savory uh, lunch meat. That would be called a chiffonade. And we just uh, lightly garnish with the meat. If you have a thick accent, does it end up tasting better? Indeed we, oui. indeed we. Oui. We must uh, spread evenly to evenly distribute the wealth of the flavor into the meal. This will be a breakfast omelette pizza. Look at that garlic. Most, uh... Kathy, you are missing out. <laughs> I'm sorry you couldn't make it, but you see, this garlic smell will be most delightful. <laughs> and now, the tomate. And now, the cheese. This will be complicated because we don't want the cheese to fall through the cracks. But it will anyway. Don't worry, we got more where that came from. Okay. Magnifique. I got the grease from the garlic. It's an interesting flavor. You must uh, try this. Watch what I'm doing now closely. Jeez, this is an special drip. Oh. <laughs> Something about not <laughs> wanting to drop it anywhere? It's inevitable. Inevitable? It shall make it taste better. Ah. C'est la vie, oh. c'est la vie. Okay. C'est la vie. The leafy substance of okay, the oregano plant. We add a lot. Not too much. A lot. Not too much. Oregano. <laughs> Not too much. Okay, and now. The final application. The final application is a full flavor. But this we just do a special way. Especially, how do you say in my country? Je ne sais pas le This way. Oh. Cooking wine. Ah, this is it. Finished. Now we put it on there, but before we got to clean up the clean it all up. The melted cheese on the window. 
I'm sure it shall be fine. No problems whatsoever. Clean as a whistle. Some may call it sterile. Ah, hi. Then again, maybe not. Timing on this pizza is crucial. We just delivered the oven. A proper door open. Uh, so you can see the view uh, from this perspective. Higher, higher, this perspective. You see, we got the full angle of the melted cheese and we have the properties of the steam and the evaporate essence uh, inflating and the waft a waft for the nostrils and up the nostrils the wafting scent will warm my heart until I bite my sink my teeth into the melted cheese into a delicious and savory meal The aftermath. Shall we leave this on? It says off. And it shall be so. Spinach pizza. Okay. Oh. Mmm, oh. and it will be delicious. There's two. Oh, this one's a one piece. You got? I got water, wine, milk, OJ. A little bit of wine would be fine. Okay. Just a little bit, not much. Okay. I would need to figure out a glass. What was that? Oh. Mm hmm. Mm Ugh! <laughs> 
How's my thumb? Marvelous. Cute, defenseless little puppy. My asthma. <gasps> yeah. It was a blast, let me tell you. I'm a glutton for punishment, let me tell you. Right on the chin. Ow, my God.